China is expected to launch aircraft carrier the next generation in one year. In addition, the construction of new giant ships has also been accelerated. Two South China Morning Post sources said aircraft carrier Type 002 which is aircraft carrier the second and third developed domestically by China have begun the final assembly process. Assembling aircraft carrier. It has just begun and is expected to be completed in the first half of next year because the virus pandemic is slowing progress. Workers have also begun laying off other aircraft carriers. The two ships were built by the Zhongnan shipyard outside Shanghai. A second source said initial construction work for the Type 002 aircraft carrier had begun in 2018, but was stopped last year due to technical reasons. Construction for the second Type 002 will be faster than the first because workers have learned and overcome many problems when building the first. This is a challenging job because Type 002 is the first aircraft carrier designed in the country. Recent photos circulating on China's social media platform show two major parts of the aircraft carrier structure being anchored in a dry dock and assembled from prefabricated ship components. There is an incomplete flight deck above them. Construction on the first Type 002 aircraft carrier began in early 2015. This will be the third owned by China after the Liaoning and Shandong vessels. Unlike the first two Type 001 aircraft carriers that are designed by Russia and equipped with ski jump tracks, this new ship will have the most sophisticated electromagnetic aircraft launch system in the world. This is the same as that used by the new generation of US Navy, the aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford. Electromagnetic takeoff technology means less wear on the aircraft and allows more planes to be launched in a shorter time than the ski jump system. Hong Kong based military commentator Liang Goliang said Type 002 was not expected to be nuclear powered because so far only Chinese submarines had used this technology and there were no nuclear powered warships. This nuclear powered technology is designed for China's fifth aircraft carrier which is likely to be built at the Dalian shipyard, Liang said. China alone plans to build six aircraft carriers to operate in the Pacific until 2035. China has three fleets to guard the Yellow Sea, East and South China Sea, with each fleet demanding two aircraft carriers, said Zhou Chenming, a researcher from the Yuan Wang think tank. Unlike the U.S. Navy which has a global strategy, all Chinese aircraft carriers can only be used for offshore defense because of China's geographical location, where all neighbors are watching closely. The South China Sea situation is boiling in the near future. Many military groups are now pouring in the waters which are passed by one-third of the world sea travel. That is because the countries which have great military power throughout the world want to put pressure on China. The cause remains the same as before. China is considered presumptuous about their territorial boundaries both on land and at sea. Even the disputes that originally started from the border dispute are now widespread. Including the latest as a spy issue launched by the country, Panda, throughout the world including the UK through their companies that are abroad. After the domestic policy to cancel cooperation with leading mobile phone manufacturers from China, Huawei was boycotted by the Queen Elizabeth's government. Now the British finally joined Japan and the United States, US, which first sent their aircraft carriers to the waters of the South China Sea. The aim is to surround China not to act arbitrarily over borders with many countries. In fact, as previously reported, China is at odds with at least 18 countries both bordering on blood and those disputing at sea with China. Opposition to the dominance of China in the Indo-Pacific region has been more and more vigorous voiced by countries with large military forces recently. British flagship aircraft carriers such as HMS Queen Elizabeth and the aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales are now heading to the hot waters. For information, HMS Queen Elizabeth is the latest British aircraft carrier weighing 65,000 tons. 
marked this aircraft carrier as the largest warship ever built by the British along with HMS Prince of Wales for the needs of the Royal Navy. Launching from the Australian, the two aircraft carriers are worth £3.1 billion sterling or RP84 billion. The Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier is expected to visit the Far East, conducting military exercises with their allies including the US and Japan. This aircraft carrier has accrued personnel, but that number could increase to 1,600 personnel when fighter jets and helicopters are loaded aboard this aircraft carrier. Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier will be escorted by two Type 45 destroyers, two Type 23 frigate ships, two tankers and several helicopters. The aircraft carrier will complete training with allies this fall next year. Initially the aircraft carrier contained only two squadrons of F-35B Lighting II stealth fighter jets, one from the US and one from Britain. It turned out that not only Britain was frustrated with China's behavior in the Indo-Pacific, but countries like Australia and Canada also felt. Reportedly the two major countries will also overtake Britain to the South China Sea to join the three countries that have preceded them.